Hello everybody, welcome to Brown Girl's Hair. Today my mom is going to show you how she flat irons my hair. First, I washed, deep conditioned, and banded her hair a week prior to flat ironing. You can click the links to view these videos. I'll also post them in the description box below. You may be wondering, why did you do it a week apart? I did it because she was in a wedding that was on a Friday, and at the time, she was still in school. Because of the thickness of her hair, it takes it several days to dry when it's been banded. So I had to divide up hair time so that her hair would be perfect for the event. I'm going to remove the bands. After removing the bands, her hair is ready to be styled. It is already dry and detangled. I'm going to add Cura Care Cream Press to her hair. Cream Press helps shield the hair from thermal heat damage. It imports natural sheen. It prevents dry, dull, and brittle hair. And it also helps to resist reversion on humid days. Now I'm going to add a very little of the curling wax. It also contains heat protectant properties. It seals in moisture. It helps combat frizzing, aids in longer style retention, and also helps prevent reversion due to humidity. Now I recommend both of these products if you are styling thick hair. My hair isn't as thick as my daughter's, and these products weigh my hair down, but they are perfect for her hair. I am using a H2 Pro Nano High Tech Ceramic Styling Iron. This one has a 410 degree fixed temperature. I suggest if you aren't sure how much heat your hair or your child's hair can take, get a flat iron that you can adjust the temperature gauge on it. I will not run the flat iron through each section more than two times. If it's not straight as I want it after the second time, then it's oh well. Two times is my limit. That helps me to prevent using too much heat on her hair. I'll repeat the steps of adding the cream press, then the curling wax, and flat ironing her hair until all of her hair has been straightened. Some people view using heat as a negative thing. My view on heat is that the use of heat itself isn't the enemy. It's the misuse and abuse of heat. Um, the amount of heat that one person's hair can take versus the other varies. You know, heat damage is real, so you do have to use it sparingly. And I do recommend that you um, do 
deep condition and take the necessary precautions to protect your hair when you are using heat. That's why I do use um, heat protectant. I'm a believer in it. I use it on my hair and my daughter's hair as well. And we do not suffer from any type of heat damage. So I believe if you use it properly for your hair type, then heat can be a great um, styling tool and can add that versatility of being able to wear straight hair from time to time if you choose. I gave her hair another serious cut, but truth be told, it really should be to her hip by now, but who wants to be doing all that hair? Not me. Here are the results. Brown Girl's hair. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.